Just days away from what would have been Oscar Grant's 38th birthday, his mom is celebrating getting back a part of her son she's been waiting for more than a decade to be returned. This is all that you have of that loved one, uh, their property, because they're no longer here. Today, Alameda County District Attorney Pamela Price gave Reverend Wanda Johnson back two of her son's cell phones. The phones have been locked away in the DA's evidence room since Grant was shot and killed by a BART police officer in 2009. The officer was later convicted of involuntary manslaughter. Despite multiple requests over 15 years, the phones were never returned until now. The prior district attorney's office uh, said to me that they, the evidence, I guess, was mixed up with other evidence, and so they didn't know which phones uh, was his. There was no challenge finding the phones. We know which phones they, that actually belonged to Oscar Grant, which phones were cataloged appropriately. Um, it was apparently a, an act of will not to return the phones to her. DA Price represented Johnson's family in their civil suit over Grant's death. Price blames former Chief Deputy DA Terry Wiley for not returning the phones. We reached out to Wiley for comment but did not hear back. Price plans to establish new protocols for her own office on returning personal property going forward. It has been a blight and a spot on the operations of the Alameda County District Attorney's Office. Holding her son's phones for the first time, Johnson says she knows from the investigation the last photo on Grant's phone shows the officer who shot him pointing a taser at him. What that still says to me is that 30 seconds before he knew the taser from the gun. But Johnson says it's all the unknown pictures of her son and the memories of him that she wants to see and hold on to. It's another piece of my life uh, that has been fulfilled that I have me, having my son's property. And that's all families want. In Oakland, Valina Jones, NBC Bay Area News.